Hey guys. Um, so 0 0.8 row patch released what, what eight to ten days ago. Um, we're now on the C patch, and uh, I finally got some time to actually get to this video. So as you guys know, Bonkers got nerfed. Um, they obliterated this node, the Legion of Pain. There was, I mean, so many ways that they could have changed it and still made it usable, right? Um, but instead, they just destroyed it. So anyway. I'm not going to talk about that. This video is not about ranting about bunkers. Um, although you can still push bunkers to 300 plus, I did it um, just a casual push. I was still able to push for 300, um, but you just won't be seeing big numbers anymore from this uh, from bunkers. <coughs> um, for this video, I finally got around to making it. Um, it's poison armor, death seal lich. So. Um, with this build, as you know, as you see, my armor is going from 14% to 61% in uh, one soul feast, right? So, um, and then the damage, you're not doing the main damage from poisons, you're doing your main damage from um, death seal. Um, obviously, it's not like critting for like, you know, 200,000 or a million or whatever, but I mean, 100,000, 150,000 or 200,000 on the dummy equates to maybe like 40,000 in the arena, depending on the type of mob, um, which is more than enough to get you to um, a decent amount of wave push. I was able to get this to 415. Probably would have been a little higher if I wasn't like trying to face tank a worm at 400 plus and, uh, <laughs> and I didn't have soul feast up. And so my armor was at 14% trying to tank a, a frost worm. And uh, you just don't do that. I was disrespecting the frostworm, so that was my bad. Anyway, this um, this, this build probably can push I don't know, 500 plus maybe. Depends on on uh, how well you play, how try hard you do it. Um, so um, let's get into it. For passives, uh, acolyte base tree eight points in int and necrotic resistance. Eight points in vitality and uh, four left over points and in increased damage. Um, we want the vitality because we want the health. We're stacking health here. <clears throat> Nothing in necrotic. Um, Lich tree. Eight points in intelligence. Two points in health and spell damage leech. I didn't take this node because we're not doing the low life <clears throat> um, for death seal. So I don't think the, I don't feel the five percent is actually beneficial. Um, five points here in necrotic damage the reason i don't take poison uh, damage over time is because i'm doing primary damage from death seals necrotic damage um so damage over time from poison is a secondary source of damage and it's not as important i feel and it's only seven percent versus you get 12 percent necrotic damage here um eight points in vitality um this one's poison damage poison duration uh, you want the duration because, um, well, you need it, the poison stacks to stay as long as possible so that you can feast. Um, the intelligence, uh, spell damage, spell damage uh, is mainly for death seal. You gotta remember that poison damage is death as the damage over time, so it doesn't scale with spell damage. Um, <clears throat> this one, obviously, the penetration for both necrotic and, uh, and poison is nice. Uh, increased damage over time because five points for 200% is very nice. Um, I didn't take any of those because we're not doing crit. Um, this is the leftover point. So I took 10 points here uh, for less physical damage taken and less crog damage taken on potion use. So you, when you use it for dodge, you also get these kind of defenses as well, which is very really nice. Um, 10 points here for the poison chance. Five points for the move speed and damage leech as health. Um, and then also this is damage leech as health, um, which you need from the poison. Uh, it's, it's mainly these two are for sustain, right? Uh, this one's spell damage, damage over time. So spell damage is for the death seal, damage over time is for the poison. Okay, and um, that's it for the passives. Um, let's start with death seal. So Death Seal is the main damaging um, source for the build. It's the main one, and the poison is the secondary one. So you want stacks of, um, well, you want the posting Death Seal. Um, 
so you need five points in here to get the pulsing and then you're gonna go down here for the poison right so um, wave of death damage is gonna be higher increase wave of damage oh and also of course you want doom call because uh well the, multi the multipliers on here is pretty insane so even if you don't see big crits big numbers like two million crits which you can get if you build another way um that's again that's a, a different build for death seal and uh, that's not the way we're doing it here but this is more than enough damage for um for arenas right um okay so you want the pulses you want to get the uh, doom call right um and then you know work your way down to poison so um the death wave hits damage to poison enemies is 60 percent more damage right and then here you can have another 60 percent capped so per stack of poison right so if you have well you need at least 20 stacks but you'll, you'll get 20 stacks pretty fast um with uh with all the wandering spirits spitting those poison things all right for transplant um i have this set up for the past couple patches already it's pretty um straightforward so we want um you want detonations to leave pool blood because it snares or slows enemies that's chasing you um you want the three rip blood class still even though you're not specking rip blood because well it applies poisons um, you want additional detonations because they apply poison stacks, and then you want the kill threshold 20%, which is really nice, um, just overall, right? Um, you could probably take out a point in the cast speed and put it um, in the re uh, the area for the um, for the detonation pools, which I probably would do. I'm just uh, you know I haven't changed this this thing change out of here because I don't feel the need to, um, but you could do that, right? Um, I didn't go for the mana because you don't want the cooldown increase uh, on the transplant. You want you want to be able to transplant as fast as possible. So right now my cooldown with the idols is down to 2.4 percent or 2.4 seconds, um, and that's what you want to look out for. And that's transplant. Soul feast, yes, soul feast, guys. Um, this is what's um, this is the node that's getting getting you all the armor for this build. So it converts all the poison or consumes all the poison stacks and then converts it to um, to armor per stack at 20%. Um, so with the wandering spirits around applying poison to everything, right? Um, and then your transplant, you know, all your hits, uh, the death steel pulses, it all applies poison, right? So um, you just hit soul feast once, and your your armor is practically going to be at least 50% plus. For wandering spirits, um, you want them to. They're, they're the main um, source of poison application onto mobs um, because of spectral putrescence. Uh, you want you want to go this route to get the frequency increased, maxed. Um, the range two points because you can't afford it anymore. You want to max the four points for the lingering souls and the five points for the reveal rate. Um, and then the cooldown, 3 out of 3 cooldown. The mana cost is kind of irrelevant um, because this is the only spell that actually costs mana. Everything else, oh sorry, and Soul Feast. But um, unless you're spamming Soul Feast unnecessarily, you're not going to have any mana issues. Um, so this is... Uh, I'm not turning to this to poison because you're not... Um, the actual wandering spirit passing through mobs is not you know, you're not doing the damage you're not relying on, on th the damage for from wandering spirits you're just relying on their poison application although obviously poison is doing damage to the mobs the bulk of your damage is coming from death seal right so you want this to apply as much poison as possible so you can use soul feast to get your armor all right lastly we have uh, reperform um, going taking this route to get the global poison chance. Um, the poison stacks on nearby enemies uh, on transform is kind of whatever. You're never gonna. That's not. Um, yeah, the global chance, poison chance is what you want from this uh, this side. Um, you could reap through enemies to poison them more, but um, it's kind of dangerous sometimes, especially high waves. Um, but if you have your armor up, it should be fine. Um, you get another 100% poison chance by reaping through them. Uh, 
you can apply mark of death, mark for death. So mark for death is a curse um, that reduces all resistance by 25%. So it's pretty nice because it, it um, stacks on with your uh, poison penetration. Um, but you know, yeah, it's nice to have. You can not you can opt to not put this and just put two points into reap cooldown instead. Um, so you could reap more often. It's up to you. Uh, you can try it out both ways. Um, this way, the, the damage or increased damage over time is kind of useless too. Um, actually, I don't even know why I have 3% here. Oh, actually, the health drain is nice. Sorry. So you, you probably want to, yeah, 3 points here. Um, you need 3 points to get to this node to Vile Shroud. I want this node because uh, for the necrotic resistance, and I don't want to um, spend any um, investment on gear for necrotic or poison. So for necrotic resistance on the base class, on the base um, acolyte tree, you get 24% here. And then if you get a decent roll, I mean, I don't even have decent, I have a very average roll of necrotic resistance on the implicit for the neck. Um, and then that's how I got the 41%. Um, and then once I turn reperform, it caps out 75, right? So um, the poison resistance is kind of, you know, whatever, because, you know, one, one uh, soul feast will cap your poison resistance. And poison resistance in the first place, uh, poison is just not like really a big deal in arena. I feel like it's not as dangerous as some of the other like void and physical um and necrotic some of those mobs right <clears throat> um yeah so the, that's it for the skills all right for the gearing so for the idols um you want to want the abominable ornate idol uh, bone idols of hemomancy uh so for the prefix um it's increased damage while transform, and the suffix is for transplant cooldown reduction. Um, these are the ideal ones for this build. Um, you can also use um, damage leech as health on hit as a prefix if you don't have access to um, these idols. And if you're just starting out and you're leveling, um, you want to just get cooldown reduction as a uh, transplant cooldown reduction as a priority, and then whatever prefix, just use it um, until you get these idols. Um, for the weapon, you're going to go with either Oracle or a Sork Staff. Uh, the reason we're not going with Plague Bears is Plague Bears is the Gate Staff base, and with the Adaptive Spell damage is way too low. Again, our primary damage is coming from Death Seal, um, and then secondary source of damage is coming from the uh, the poisons, from the Wandering Spirits. Um, for the affixes, you're going to use... Um, Spell damage, increased spell damage, and then probably necrotic damage. Um, as the two prefix and suffix, you want chance to poison and either chance to slow or chill. Um, for the chest piece, the implicit doesn't really matter too much. Um, oh, not the implicit, I'm sorry, the base doesn't matter too much. Um, you can use the spell damage increase or increase spell damage or, um, or even uh, the. Um, uh, the one with that gives you, um, was it Immortal Plate? It gives you um, some kind of, uh, uh, a l well, a little bit of Glancing Blow, like 10% or something, but um, it doesn't really matter. Again, uh, what you want to roll on there is Dodge and Health. So Vitality, Dodge Prefix, and Dodge Suffix, and Increased Health, um, Percentage Increased Health on the Suffix. Uh, for the Helm, um, the implicit doesn't matter too much either. You, know, you can go with spell damage. Uh, this is this is really bad helm that I'm showing here, <laughs> but uh, I actually needed it for the crit avoidance cap and the uh, elemental resistance cap. Uh, but otherwise, this is a pretty bad bad example of a <laughs> of a helm. Um, the necklace you're gonna want to use, or oh, the amulet rather, you're gonna want to use a bone amulet because it gives the necrotic and physical implicit resistances. Um, for the affixes, you want to want dodge rating for the pre uh, prefix and suffix, and then for the secondary suffix, you can go with you know filling in a resistance type or going for more health. I probably go with more health, but again, I don't. I didn't take time to actually craft anything f like a min max this character at all. Um, but that's what I'll probably do. I'll, I'll do a tongue lapse uh, link on the bottom, so. Um, 
I can see what the ideal or uh, my ideal uh, items are for this build. <clears throat> Um, the rings, you want to use the uh, silver rings because of the movement speed implicit. Um, for the affixes, you want to use... Uh, the prefixes are going to be for the set resistances. So, elemental or physical void. We're not doing necrotic poison. Um, because poison... You don't need poison resistance um, because of, of this build. Um, necrotic resistance, um, you're getting for free um, from the base acolyte class. 24% uh, here, and then the implicit on the neck gives you another up to 20%. And then um, lastly, you're going to get this node of Vile Shroud, so you're getting card resistance per point of intelligence. So if you're like at level 80 or something, you should have enough intelligence to cap out your resistances um, on Necrotic without spending anything on the gear. Um, for the belt, um, you want a 4 or 5 potion slot belt. Um, and uh, for the affixes, dodge rating, dodge rating on potion use, dodge suffix, and a hybrid health. Um, for the gloves, these gloves are actually from my um, bone curse build. It's not, um, it's not for this build. Oh, it's not ideally for this build, but it could be used for this build too. Um, so shred armor on hit is probably not um, necessary for this build. Um, you probably just go with more dodge, actually. Dodge and then hybrid health. And the prefixes, you're going to go with uh, set resistances. You can do frailty as well. Um, lessens the damage mobs do. Could be helpful in some situations. But uh, if not, you could just put vitality for more health. The boots, um, you can use any base boots that has the uh, 10 to 13 range movement speed. Implicits, um, pretty much all the mid tier and tier boots are all the same movement speed, speed, speed implicits now so um, for the affixes the prefix you're going to use um, set resistance of some sort um, either physical void or elemental depending on how what you need where right and then uh, dodge rating for the prefix movement speed it's important that you get uh, a tier 5 movement speed on the suffix and then uh, finally dodge rating t um, for the suffix as well for the relic, you're gonna want to use uh, a stained tomb um, base because the health implicit it gives. Um, and for the prefix, I mean, um, I, I don't have ideal gear, uh, ideal relic on this character. Um, uh, instead of the frailty on hit, you probably want to get vitality instead on the prefix, and you want to have the increased dodge rating. And then a suffix, you want to use health, and then um, a filler resistance as the last suffix slot. So if you need elemental, you just put elemental. If you need void, you just put void. If you need physical, you know, etc. Or even if you need necrotic, um, just you know, use whatever you need to fill. Um, and that's it for the items. All right, for the playstyle of this build, um, you're gonna want to have wandering spirits on auto cast, um, and then soul feast to gain the armor. So generally, uh, what I like to do is transplant and then soul feast into a pack of mobs. Or um, if it's dangerous to transplant, just l kite the mob a little bit through your wandering spirits and then cast soul feast. That'll gain you your armor. And then once you have your armor up, you can just transplant to the group of mobs and then cast death seal. And then still, just gotta remember you gotta have soul feast every four seconds to maintain the armor. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, at lower levels in the arenas, you don't have to soul feast as much, um, because, well, they're not going to kill you. You do, like, sub 200s, um, um, you know, just, just soul feast, you know, when, when you f see that there's a group of, like, deadly mobs, you, you probably want to soul feast, make sure your armor's up, like archers and... Um, frost worms and anything really um, right and then once you have your armor up that's when you transplant in and death seal so just gonna make sure you have your armor up might be free engaged like a, um, a dangerous pack of mobs otherwise I mean you just cut around your um, poison damage is enough to kill like most mobs 
um, a packs and things like that. But uh, you want to, when you want to actually clear like a set of packs fast, you want to have your death steal up to do that. And uh, many kind of you know um, rare mobs, boss mobs, obviously mm. death seal. You have to use death seal to kill them. The poison takes too long. Um, but again, poison is not used for main damage here. You're doing it to gain armor. So, um, and that's pretty much the build. Um, Monoliths is like a uh, cakewalk. You just kind of you don't even have to do much. Uh, you don't even have to like soul feast more for the most part in Monoliths. All you have to do is just Reap, death seal, and then transplant all the way to the end, and then rinse and repeat. Um, and then um, arenas is pretty much like you know, uh, uh, you just have to have the knowledge of what, what the mobs do and then what to do when. Um, but generally, if, as long as you you um, remember to keep your armor up and uh, potion when you need to, because potion again increases your dodge chance and also um, you'll take. 50% less physical and necrotic damage when you push when you pot so um, yep that's pretty much the build um, hope you guys enjoy the video uh, if you have any questions you can leave a comment below um, all right take care